Ravi Shastri, what he did the last 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 series, I think that will be remembered for a very very long time because it was just not a crippled Indian team, a depleted Indian team, but there were players jinko shayad uske baad mauka milega nahi aur wo hua bhi tina trajan was is a case in point navdeep saini could well end his career as india's designated net bowler because he's just not leveling up after all that exposure he got the last time around that brings me to gautam gambhir first major assignment i would say sternest sternest test awaits him i think caught off guard or was in for a root shock after what new zealand did to india 3 nil no one saw that coming but now this is where the real fun begins 10 test matches five against australia five against england then champions trophy and all those things in between but right now purely talking from a red ball standpoint because this is where doubts were people were convinced nitin bhai you have been a vocal advocate of saying that lakshman should have been with the red ball setup gambhir should have been given the white ball teams but now gambhir one red ball assignment already done this is the the stern is test so Your thoughts on Gautam Gambhir? He's a character, fights fire with fire, all that jazz. But Test cricket is about winning those moments, winning those sessions, winning those days, and then ultimately winning the Test after four, five, three. How many days they last? I I, I think uh, why I said that uh, he he may be more uh, in tune with the white ball because he's a modern cricketer. You know, he's yeah. he's been involved in modern white ball setup. So I th- I thought that the white ball initiation would have been. an easier initiation for him despite what happened yeah. in sri lanka you know that i consider to be an outlier series uh, yeah. but but i think i think he would have been more more uh, comfortable coaching the t20 setup uh, coaching the odi setup and lakshman having what 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 i hope happens now in the future yeah. when you are on a coach hunt is that whoever is the incumbent yeah. spends spends a year under the current coach Okay. and then takes over like what andrew mcdonald did with justin langer and yeah. then it just like you groom a captain after making him vice captain i hope the same happens in the coaching setup also because then the players get the time to get used to a particular individual a particular coaching method and then uh, carry it forward so i th- i thought that if kambhir was interested in being coach which i'm sure he would have communicated earlier because otherwise he would not have been made coach in such a hurry so i thought that he could have been involved uh, with rahul dravid as assistant yes. coach and then maybe uh, progress in the in the head coach role but nitin bhai do you you think the cricketing egos which we have which are like big egos will actually allow a setup like this to actually function or kind of be looked at and is asking like not a good ego or a bad ego but there are big cricketing egos on the table when two individuals who have represented the country for a very long time sabko ek dusre ke niche upar kaam karne mein chhota bada to feel hota hi hai so kaise how do you crack that code then if you if you uh, if you employ word salads like patriot patriotism nationalism national pride and all that yeah. then i'm sure uh, they should not mind 